Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Mario Kart Tour. Today we are taking a look at Daisy Hill's tricks in the first half of the Flower Tour for the Daisy Cup. How to maintain combo and rack up a high score whilst playing it. So I'm coming in with a 23,500 which is pretty nice and I got a good run. This was my literally third run. My third run. One I was done rec whilst recording or not recording because it made a mistake and didn't record it properly. And then second go, I was just trying to get a picture of the screenshots from the thumbnail, and that run wasn't great. And then this run, this run was perfect. So we're going to be talking about driver cut glider of setup. Of course, going in, we have lots of options, good options for this first part because we have a common in Baby Daisy, and Bubble is a good special skill for maintaining your combo. Um, you do get a lot of points with it, but there's not going to be any bare sections of the track where you're really going to need it because you're probably using the bubble earn less because there's lots of cut coins, which you can get whilst you're in bubble, but there's dash panels that you'll miss, jump boosts that you'll miss. So that's why I would favor uh, Daisy coming in at level four. Even if it was level three, I probably might still consider Although I suppose you get that boost to chance to die in a frenzy. Um, now I think I'd still go for Daisy at level 3. One, le one level less. We get Heart Special Skill which is a good one for maintaining. It basically acts like a mushroom and it's an instant combo maintainer. And uh, it will obviously reduce the, the, the chances of your run being spoilt by lightning bolts. So it will like, give you that extra protection from blue shells and the like. Now, you probably the best options is, is, is Vacation Peach. We have Coin Box as a special skill. So anybody with her is gonna be racking up a huge score on this one with the extra coins that you'll get from that. Black Yoshi, Double bob -ombs, not too bad a special skill, being that this is one where you'll quickly get into first place. As you see, I stall start on this one and you know it doesn't take long before I'm back in first. So not a bad ability to have. I'd probably rate it higher than hearts and bubble for getting a lot of hits. Mm, well, I suppose with the heart, it's an instant. No, I'd probably say mushroom hearts, then black bubbles, then bubble, personally. Then we have a lot of options for cart, loads of options. We have three high ends, one super, and three common. So everybody will hopefully have something for this. My birthday girl is at level five because I've invested into it early. Uh, no tickets left really, I've got one ticket left to be able to invest in, which I'm, I'm not going to be doing that. Level 5 gives me a nice 1.1 bonus points and time 4 bonus points. Um, what I do have though is Queen Bee at level 4, Dash Panel Plus is going to be a good special skill to have, better than the Slipstream Plus, uh, and I get 1.1, 1.2 here. Yes, I get time 3 bonus points, but I, I feel that's definitely better than going in with the level 5 birthday girl Rosalina. Uh, otherwise, you've got the green cheap charger, which is very good with the special skill jump boost. You may have invested tickets into that. Uh, green kitty car, not so great with rocket start plus, so I wouldn't recommend going in with that. Dozer Dasher has dash panel plus, um, so equally as good as, as my queen bee. And then we have the Kabuki Dasher, which also has Dash Panel Plus. So all the high ends offer the same special skills, whatever's the higher level. And then Zucchini, if you've been fortunate enough to pull this, is a very good one with Mini Turbo Plus. Being that it's a trick level, though, I'd probably say Jump Boost. Um, jump Boost, the best. And then Dash Panels, probably probably a, a, not a fairly close second, not, not too far away. Right, let's take a look at this run then. We... We wanted a double frenzy run, really, to be able to get a a decent score. And you'll see we do that. Just that. Not just any frenzies, but the best frenzies. All right. Straight from the start then. This is not a difficult one to maintain. I am going in with a a decent glider, which will give me a boost combo boost, but I'll go for a store start at the beginning. There may be like a few sections where you might lose it. Um, so taking these routes can definitely help. So straight from the off, start turning to the left. That'll connect you from that first jump boost to that one. Then turn to the right. Then pull a frenzy. Whoop, whoop. Mushroom frenzy. 
that's the benefit of a stall start. And as I said, it doesn't take long for me to get back. I get a nice little hit there. And the problem with being this back though, I do miss, what, two? Then three, three coins. And then four coins. So four coins do get taken off me. Um, but it's not too bad. And then I get hit. And I'm like, it's over. And quickly recover and get a mini turbo to connect what is a difficult section. Anyway, thankfully, I get two mushrooms, which help me to, to maintain that. Um, coming through here, start to turn to the left. I don't take the dash panels because you've got a coin and a jump boost versus the dash panel. And it's around the outside, so you, you, you'd fall a bit further back. That'll connect you nicely those, over those jump boosts. You'll have plenty of time to get to those dash panels. Try and aim for the center of there. I usually would, but I saw that they'd taken the center coins, so try to go for the outside. Coming down here, this is how you, you don't want to land. So, land in there. Get a little jump boost off there. And obviously you want to hit the coins there. Um, turn left to connect that jump boost to this. And then, after you come over here, start turning to the left and charging up your power up. I actually try and stay straight to him. Don't know how that missed him. It was it was like the jump boost just, it must have skimmed him. Again, contacting that part. So this part without a frenzy, uh, you may have to use your items just to assist you. I use a red shell there, which connects me to that coin, which gives me, once I release mini turbo, enough time to be able to get to these ramps. This time, getting the coin with each jump boost. So you can see I'm getting 200 points 200 yeah 200 points every time I go over them and get the coin release here super mini turbo to get me over this jump boost remember it's a jump boost so you have plenty of time I get a hit there again your items need to come good there and then pull a coin frenzy dream coming over here it's about getting these coins making sure I get these jump boosts yeah we get it each time coming down here holding my Oh, I released my thingy too early. Mm, actually, no, I wouldn't have been able to release it in the air anyway. Or would I? Mm, I don't know. But this time, aiming for the middle and taking my favoured choice when coming down here is start aiming towards that step and then lift up and you'll get the jump boost off it. But you'll also get that 94 glide time, one extra. You can sometimes get two if you get to that second little jump from the fountain as well. So... It's definitely worth doing. Coming off here, I throw the, the green shells back. Why do I not learn? But, bosh, bosh, two hits with them, which brings an extra 300 points. So, sometimes it works, sometimes... that's It's because of that. That's why I end up using my protection. Uh, I could have killed a really good run. 23,000 plus. I was pretty happy with that. Um, I don't think this one is going to be too difficult for, for you guys to maintain. I do have some good items going in there, but it's just not a difficult track. There's plenty of trick boosts. Um, you can get off dash panels, jumps, and they connect quite nicely. It's really just getting that, that whatever you got, you got a jump boost, use a mini turbo in between, and prepare for it, you know, think ahead. And also, I think it's about using your items wisely for that. There's one that one difficult section here to connect there. Oh, that was quite fortunate this bit that bit's probably the hardest bit and where you will have to use an item to help you maintain and you might opt to use your um free item spin there do i use my item spin i best use my item spin what if i finish this whole track oh no it didn't look like it was there right <laughs> yeah hearts use, use your arms up Use your items up. Use it. <laughs> I keep not using it. Get to the end. Use those two green shells. <laughs> I hate when you do a good run and you don't use your item ticket. Nice. We did. We did. And we got a nice score. First place bringing us 8,415 points. It really makes the difference having a good glider, good cart in terms of points for it. And that's it. And that's it. Apart from that, I think it's pretty straightforward. Hopefully you guys get a good score. Let me know your scores down below, what setup you're going in with. And uh, Next, we'll be looking at probably Shy Guy Bazaar. 
And then finishing off with what will be a more difficult remix Choco Island 1 with the fact that we don't have a top tier glider. But hopefully, fireworks parachute, we can we can see how we get on. That's all for this one though. If you've enjoyed it, found it helpful, please leave a like on the video. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That is all from me. See you guys soon.